Um, a much more, I don't know what I was gonna say. Hey Julie, hey Juliana. <laughs> Quick five minute little workflow tack. Uh. Hey guys, it's Juliana with Become a Workflow Boss. I am actually launching my very own podcast in April and I am so excited about that because that is gonna be all about habits, productivity, and mindset so that you can become a workflow boss yourself. On Wednesdays, I'm gonna be doing Workflow Wednesdays. So that is what I'm gonna be doing right now. And that is basically me going into my computer screen for five minutes and showing you a quick workflow hack, as small as it can be, it can change your life so that you can become a lot more organized in your business and you can start growing your business and having the dream life that you want. So we're gonna go right into it starting now. I'm gonna dig into my desktop, what it looks like, how I clean it up, every Friday and how I keep it organized. So right now you're looking right into my desktop and as you can see, it is now basically has a bunch of randomness here, things that I'm working on. And I created this really great layout um, basically in Canva. So if you're interested in this layout, totally could give it to you for free, downloadable, check the links in the description but basically what I did was I added a quote right here this is something for my team so I have a girl Fabi who comes in twice a week into my computer in my desk and basically I just like to keep that as an inspirational quote so that she understands what our mission is here with my business now on the left I just added a quick little photo to stay inspired why am I doing all this for those great little trips that I love to take twice a year and then over here I have randomness and so randomness is basically things that just end up on your desktop randomly throughout the week and you kind of haven't had time to look over it and so I do this every Friday I look over everything I make sure it where it, it goes where it needs to be and then I delete it and then things in the work are things that currently I'm working on maybe that she needs to go in and work on and I like to keep them on my desktop because um, I do have a folder here, it's all my backup stuff, but as I'm gonna show you in another Workflow Wednesday, what that's for, um, sometimes I take this drive with me when I go and work on a project on my other computer, and so I like to keep everything on my desktop so that she has full access to it whenever she needs. So first thing I do is I kind of just make sure that all of this is something I can trash. So right here, um, this is basically something I designed for my graphic designer who's working on my website. She wanted to know the fonts that I like. And so I just created a quick little cheat sheet on fonts that I think fit my brand. And so that's something I think I'm gonna just go ahead and keep. So I have a folder over here called graphics. Actually, I'm gonna put this one in a uh, website because it's part of the website and the branding. And so that will go let's see right here and it's a website inspiration so it's everything that inspires my website so I'm gonna go ahead and just move it over here done it's backed up I can now move it to trash all right so these are three songs that I uh, downloaded through my um, I have a subscription for a licensing music and so I went in and I downloaded these three on some videos that I was making and I, every time I download a song, I like to keep them on file in case I ever wanna use them in the future. And so same thing, I have a folder over here called Music. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drag these in. So now I have them backed up. Perfect, now I can delete that. All right, so Podcast Checklist was a freebie that I downloaded from an email. Didn't really get a chance to look over it, but I kind of keep all the downloadable freebies, freebies that I get under education. And then I try to schedule one day a month where I just go through it and I kind of just give myself some material to read. All right, so this was for a video. Um, it was inside a video that I was making. Um, and so I don't need this. I just dragged it out of a, a, basically it went from my phone and then I airdropped it to my desktop so I can put it in the video. I probably will never need it again, so I'm just gonna delete it. All right, this is something that I sent to my graphic designer, just showing her some of my branding colors. So I'm gonna delete that. I already sent it to her. And then this is a screen flow. So it was a screen flow that I was working on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and save that, and I'm gonna create a folder under iCloud called Screen Flow. 
so that if I ever wanted to work on uh, anything that I've ever screen flowed before, a project, I can just kind of go in there. So that's good. All right, so my randomness is gone. Now I'm gonna go through here. These were projects that I was working on. Just double check that I finished the projects. She finished them and back them up. So this is a mood board for a client that she created. I don't need it. It's already uploaded into their online file and so, and it's already in Canva. So if I ever need access to it, I can get it there. I don't need to basically use my storage for that. This was all the images that we use inside the mood board to create it. Don't need that because we already created it. This was an order that somebody placed this week and then I went ahead and downloaded all the photos, had her place an order for me. I know that order went through, we don't need that. These are all the icons that I created for my Instagram highlight stories. And so I'm gonna go ahead and keep these as a backup because um, if I ever need them, they're there. They're gonna go under graphics and I'm gonna call this just the way it is, Instagram highlight icons. So there they are, delete that. This was the podcast cover pool that I designed. And so I don't know if you're following me over on Instagram stories, I was asking for which photos to vote for and I designed that layout. I don't need this, but, and it's in Canva as a backup. So I could just save space and delete it. It is so pretty though and I wanna keep it, but I don't need it. So it's a one-time project, I'm gonna delete it. And then this is basically a preview from a wedding that I shot last week. I pulled photos that I wanted her to post for social media previews and all of that. One thing I like to do with these photos, since these are probably my faves, favorites, is I have a folder called Social Pool. This is basically everything that in the next year we can reuse for Instagram and stuff like that. And they're all categorized based on what I like to have my Instagram grid look like. So I'm gonna just pull photos from here as a backup in there. So wedding details. Ah, it looks like I already have that one. Do I? Let's double check. Yeah, I do. Sweet, it looks like she already did this. Awesome for her. So I can delete those two. Um, this will be couple photos. I love these two, so. Yeah, on it. Nice. Let's just make sure. Ah, see? Okay, so it's just that one. All right. And then I probably won't reuse these because they're all kind of, um, receptions tend to be not as bright and colorful as the way I like my grid to look. So I will probably never reuse those. So I can delete those. All right, that's it. So now my screen, and I'll just keep this here. This is uh, my external drive. But everything is nice and clean, ready to go. And so what I'm gonna do is go into my trash and I'm just gonna go ahead and delete and empty this. I know that everything, I looked over it, can be emptied out. And then one more thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into downloads. So throughout the week, whenever you hit download on anything, it ends up in this folder and if you don't clear it, it ends up uh, wasting a lot of space and also it just looks really cluttered. And so I'm gonna go through here, just double check that we did back up all this. I'm, usually I go from download and just drag it into desktop. So I know, I pretty much know that all of this has already been backed up. Yeah, I can just look over it real quick. Yep, all right, so delete all that and then empty that out. So that's it. That is Workflow Wednesday, how I keep my desktop nice and organized. So if you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think, if this helps you. And I will continue doing this to hopefully keep you inspired, give you small little tips and tricks that you can apply right now to get your workflow all organized within a year. All right, 